There's gonna be five tips for you to use your phone better when it comes to videos and photos. Check it out. What's up everybody, Face Digital here. I wanna give you five tips so that you have better photos and videos from your phone. You spend close to a thousand dollars with your phone, so why not get everything that you can out of it? First thing, number one thing, hold your phone correctly, all right? Most people wanna hold it like this. And, hey, hey, all right, let me take a picture. Let me, you know, let, let. Hold your phone horizontally, all right? This is the best way to hold your phone. Cinematic looks just like we're we're going to this everything is long everything is wide now the only time you should be holding your phone like this is for snapchat instagram stories facebook stories if you're even going live on any of these social media platforms still hold it this way you want to hold it horizontally this is going to give you this is the most pleasing to everybody this is a cinematic look everybody want, wants to get the best out of everything we want to get the best view do it horizontally this is going to help you win in the long run trust me no more of this, all of this. The second way for you to get the best out of your phone is to clean off your lens. I can tell what half of y'all ate that day because your lens has a smudge on it. A lot of people be letting their kids use it and touch this and even on the front over here, the light catches the lens and then now you got this super shiny, bright, misty look on your pictures and you can't figure out why your pictures look dingy. Come on, man, we gotta fix that. The third thing on getting better photos and videos from your phone is gonna be using the rear facing camera. Okay, that's this camera right here, I'm sorry. This camera, okay? You gotta use your rear facing camera. The, the rear is gonna give you the best picture quality possible out of your phone. No more taking pictures from here. Even when you take selfies, learn how to use the rear. If you're in the mirror, you can see your reflection in the mirror but learn and practice how to use the back side. Learn how to use this camera on the back. The best picture quality you're gonna get from this. The front doesn't have that strong of megapixels in it. Learn how to vlog. If you're vlogging and you're starting out on a camera, get you a selfie stick, pop this bad boy on there and learn how to hold the monopod facing you and practice in the mirror. It just takes practice. I promise you'll be able to get it. Number four on the list of getting better quality videos and photos from your phone is to hold it steady. If you are taking pictures or if you're doing video, you have to hold the phone steady. Most people, you'll see a lot of people doing this. Sometimes you, it might work for people who are taller or whatever. Keep your elbows in and hold it steady, just like this. Look at this, you, you won't believe the type of videos you'll get with this. Oh, whoa, that, that video was the bomb. Who did that? I did. Who did you learn that from? Face Digital? And number five on this list so that you get the best quality photos and videos from your own cell phone is gonna be the lighting. Let me help you out with the light. I wanna simplify it and make it the easiest for you because I can go into lighting and, and do ISO and whatever. This is how you know if it's too light. If you're getting ready to take a picture, you're getting ready to do a video and their face is too light, let's say they're doing this with their eyes, it's too bright. Turn them to the side until the moment they stop doing this. Use that light, that light would be perfect. Sometimes this flash is too bright, it could overexpose, it makes the picture look gross, people will still give you thumbs uh, and likes, but to get those hearts and those likes to jump, maybe even some shares, go ahead and get that right lighting. A way that you can tell the picture is too dark is if they have a beard, their shadow right here, or if it's just dark right around the face, move them into some light. We gotta be able to use natural light, use the natural resources that we have that are around us. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe it with everyone else. I'm gonna have more tutorials for you guys to make sure everything is simple for you using the things around your house just so that you can have a better quality uh, life. I don't know, live better, you know, uh, capture those moments that are there uh, with lighting and, and, and your cell phone and and your kids and your computers and your laptops. So I'm here to provide those tips for you, all right? Tune into everything that's happening. I can't wait to do more of these. Lego, wow.